Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on frame blending in uh, After Effects CS5. You can do this in CS4, CS3 and probably a lot of the older versions. Um, although if it doesn't work, don't blame me. Uh, I, I'm not really sure about um, After Effects 7 or CS2. So uh, use that at your own discretion. But uh, today I'm going to be talking about frame blending and about the frames per second involved in um, footage that's recorded off your screen, or in a game, or in any game. Um, so first of all, what we want to do is we want to go into After Effects, and um, we want to import our clip. Uh, I happen to have a COD4 clip just laying around here um, from a promo I did. And uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to take a look at the FPS of which the clip is recorded at. So um, if you right-click Properties on a clip um, in Explorer, uh, if you go to details and frame rate, uh, as you can see here, it's 60 frames per second. Now, what that means is if we slowed that down half, so um, essentially we got 30 frames per second, it would mean that the gameplay is still smooth because there's still 30 frames per second there and the eye only sees it 20 or 24, can't remember. But uh, the point is, if we slowed that down, let's say 500%, which is what we did here, um, it should work out as a very low FPS and it should be very uncomfortable to watch. But luckily there's a thing called frame blending and um, here's the clip I pre-rendered earlier. As you can see, that's 500% slower than the original clip. And it's still um, perfectly smooth. Now we have something called warping happening here. If you look right here, this is called warping, and uh, it can be greatly reduced by a plugin called Twixter, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the basic feature of frame blending and how to use it. So, with that said, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, uh, with your clip selected, you want to drag it into a Make New Comp button, which is down here, and uh, that'll make a new composition. Now, if you're not going to do that, and you're going to go Composition, New Composition, make sure the frame rate is the same as your uh, clip, so you're not not using the FPS that you have. Uh, okay, so we want to find a place where we want to slow motion it. Uh, we could do this with um, a stopwatch or um, time remapping, but I'm just going to do it this way because it's easier. All right, so right here is when I wanted to start. So I'm going to do it if we press Control Shift D, where we want it'll split the clip into two, and then move where we want it to stop, Control shift d again. Now with the middle clip selected, which is uh, what I just cut out, I got a layer, time, time stretch, and we're going to time stretch it by 500%, which makes this 5 seconds long um, at 60 FPS. Or it was 60 FPS, it was 1 second long, now it's 5 seconds long. Click OK, and uh, now it's stretched. So if we would just want to align this um, with our other clips so it matches up. Okay, now, uh, if we play this back, it's not going to be uh, frame blended yet, obviously. But if we play it back, we'll see how laggy it actually is. It's very jittery, and it's not very comfortable to watch. And especially if you're recording at 30 FPS, it becomes even worse, obviously. So we want to enable this um, uh, frame blending um, button here, which uh, enables it for our comp. And we want to right-click on our clip, Frame blending, pixel motion. Now there's frame mix, but it's just not as good as pixel motion in my opinion. You can experiment, which is um, a great thing to do, just experimenting on your own and seeing what works for you. And that's basically how we apply frame blending to our clip. Uh, it's as simple as that. Like I said, there's a plugin called Twixter, um, which you can greatly reduce the warping and the warping in this clip is majorly caused by the text here which is if you're making a frag movie you'd want to hide that obviously all right so that concludes our tutorial for today uh if you have any questions uh, go to our forums and post there which is where i will answer your question if i'm online um so yeah until next time um there will be more tutorials coming just the mic i'm using now kind of had a little fit so i haven't made a tutorial in a while, it turns out there was a fault getting a new one soon, so um, it should all be good. So yeah, until next time.